Okay, in this video, we're going to go over some interior angle problems um, using the polygon sum conjecture and also some uh, exterior angle uh, theorems, that sort of thing as well. And this is just two examples that I'm going to show you. First of all, let's talk about what the polygon sum conjecture is. Now, basically, what the polygon sum conjecture is is the following formula. n minus 2 times 180 will give you the sum of the internal angles of any polygon. Sum of the internal angles in any polygon. Now, what does that mean in English? Let me just finish writing this. Basically, it just says this. N represents the number of sides in a polygon, okay? So, for example, if I have a one, two, three, four, five-sided five -sided polygon, what were the sum of the internal angles? And I added every single one of the angles inside. What would it come out to be? And this is the formula that would give that. So n equals the number of sides, okay, of any polygon. So in this case, I have one, two, three, four, five sides. So I'm going to put 5 minus 2 times 180 and that should equal the sum of all of those internally, okay? So 5 minus 2 is, let me go ahead and organize this. I like to put these little Roman numerals to separate my steps. I'm going to have 3 times 180, again, will be equal to the sum. 3 times 180 is 540 degrees. So now I know in this particular polygon, for example, that if I were to add all of these internal angles, it should equal 540 degrees. So now I can move over to this polygon and actually solve for one of the x's and therefore figure out what each of these angles would be. So <clears throat> I'm going to have something is equal to 540 degrees. I have a 110 and a 110, so I'm just going to add 110 plus 110 plus 2x plus 3x plus 3x, okay? And that should equal 540. Now let me gather my like terms. This is going to be a simple algebra expression now, right? So 110 and 110 gives me 220. 2x plus 3x plus 3x gives me 8x. Again, let's keep this organized. I'm going to subtract 220 from both sides. And I'm going to get 8x is equal to 320. And then I'm going to divide 320 by 8. And I'm going to get, let me just make sure I get this correctly. So, turn it on, 320 degrees. Whoop, can you see that? There we go, 320 divided by eight should give me 40, and sure enough it is. All right, so I get x is equal to 40. Then what I do is I go ahead and take 40 degrees and plug it back into each one of these. And let's just see if it actually works. So 3 times 40 gives me 120. So I'm going to put 120 degrees for that one, which means it's 120 degrees for that one. And 2 times 40 gives me 80 degrees for that one. So 120 plus 120 plus 110 plus 110 plus 80 gives me 540 degrees. And that's how you use the polygon sum conjecture to help you figure out the number of internal degrees. Now, let's move on to a little bit more sophisticated problem. That's this one down here. Now, let's see what do I know here. 
Well, I know a few things. I know that this angle and this angle are equal to one another because I have that little slash mark there, which indicates that they're congruent, okay? So if I want to call this angle X and this angle X, it would be the same thing. I also know that this is a right angle. This is a right angle triangle, which means I know that this is a 90 degree angle, okay? Now I know a couple of other things. I have extended this line on this side of the polygon all the way out here, and I've created an external angle of 60 degrees. Now I know that any straight line is 180 degrees. So 180 minus 60 should give me this particular angle here. And 180 minus 60 is 120. So I know that that angle is 120 degrees. I'm going to use the same logic for this extended angle here. I know that this angle plus this angle gives me a straight line, or 180 degrees. So 180 minus 80 means that this angle is 100 degrees. Now, similarly to this problem up here, I have a one, two, three, four, five-sided figure. So I know that the internal angles here will equal 540 degrees. Okay, so let me just write that in there. And I know that if I add all these internal angles together, it will equal 540. So I'm going to add 120 plus 90 plus 100 plus x plus x, or just plus 2x, okay? And that should equal 540 degrees. Let's gather our like terms now. So that's going to be 190, 290, 310. 310 degrees plus 2x will be equal to 540. Let's subtract 310 from both sides. And I'm now going to have 2x will be equal to 230 degrees. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And I'm going to get x is equal to 115 degrees. So I have now found that this angle is 115 and this angle is 115 as well. And if I were to add all of those together, I will add up to 540 degrees. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Use this polygon sum conjecture to figure out the internal angles of any size polygon, whether it's a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, however many sides, and then go ahead and use any type of external angle, the 180 degrees, to figure out so maybe some of the information that might be missing for you. Okay? I hope this was helpful to you.